Yeah, you on your morning announcements, morning announcements, morning announcements. With Principal Ernest. Listen to your morning announcements, morning announcements, morning announcements. It's an art, you do Yeah, babe, yeah, babe, yeah, babe. In the morning, any It's an you do Yeah, babe, yeah, babe, yeah, babe. In the morning, don't be late. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, May 20th. As you can see behind me, we are preparing for the locker clean out and your pickup on June 3rd and June 4th. Please check and see when you are assigned to come and pick up your goods. Um, I have made the official transition to wearing a hat. Cannot stand my hair anymore. I apologize, uh, but um, this is the way it's going to be until I can get my hair cut. So, thank you for your understanding. Let's begin our day with prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this prayer has been attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Where there is charity and wisdom, there is neither fear nor ignorance. Where there is patience and humility, there is neither anger nor vexation. Where there is poverty and joy, there is neither greed nor avarice. Where there is peace and meditation, there is neither anxiety nor doubt. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Birthdays for May 20th. Junior, Preston Cole. Sophomore, Sam Belby. Freshman, Alex DePute. Please have a wonderful birthday. Have a great day. Remember, you will follow the Wednesday schedule today. Make sure you get checked in for attendance in each class. Wednesday's challenge for this week is bring your pet to Zoom Day. Patsy's very excited about this challenge. Bishop Cousins will be coming to celebrate Mass this Thursday at 9.15 a.m., which is our normal online Mass time every week. Join in on our YouTube channel or Facebook Live. Seniors, plan to gather with your classmates for a retreat experience next Tuesday, May 26th at 10 a.m. This will be a time to reflect on your senior year, celebrate how far you've come, and all that you've learned. You will hear some words of wisdom and encouragement from Mr. Pohl and classmate Peter Holmes. There will be a Kahoot testing your knowledge of your senior classmates with a prize for the winner. We will conclude with prayer in the traditional senior slideshow. A link will be sent via email to all seniors Tuesday morning for you to join in. Put it on your calendar Tuesday, May 26th, beginning at 10 and scheduled to run until 11.30 a.m. Contact the campus minister if you have any questions about this. In preparation for the senior retreat, campus ministry has set up a virtual memory wall on Flipgrid. There will be three different prompts this week for you to post and share your favorite lessons learned here at Hill Murray, as well as your best memories. You will even get a chance to show off your new school colors. Go to, go to flipgrid.com, HM, HMS class of 2020 to participate, and that will get sent to you as well. Today in history, in 1310, shoes were first made for both your right foot and your left foot. 1609, Shakespeare's sonnets were first published in London. In 1873, Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis patented the first blue jeans with copper rivets. In 1927, Charles Lindbergh took off from New York, the beginning of the first transatlantic flight. He landed in Paris several days later. In 1954, Chiang Kai-shek became the president of nationalist China. This is the Twins trivia, 1995. Twins rookie Marty Cordova tied a rookie record 
He hit a home run in five consecutive games. And in 2015, David Letterman hosted The Late Show with David Letterman for the last time. The joke of the day, a boy asked his father, Dad, are bugs good to eat? That's disgusting. Don't talk about things like that over dinner, was his dad's reply. After dinner, the father said, Now, son, why did you want to ask me that? Oh, nothing. There was a bug in your soup, but now it's gone. And the quote of the day, and this is another one of those author unknown, but it's good advice. The simple formula for living well. Live beneath your means. Return everything you borrow. Stop blaming other people. Admit it when you make a mistake. Give clothes not worn to charity. Do something nice and try not to get caught. Listen more, talk less. Every day, take a 30-minute walk. Strive for excellence, not perfection. Be on time. Don't make excuses. Don't argue. Get organized. Be kind to unkind people. Let someone cut ahead of you in line just once. Take time to be alone. Cultivate good manners. Be humble. Realize and accept that life is not fair. Know when to keep your mouth shut. Go an entire day without criticizing anyone. Learn from the past. Plan for the future. Live in the present. Don't sweat the small stuff. Actually, it's all small stuff. That's it for announcements. Have a great day.